So we all know Miss Candy Burris did that spoof where the medicine man tells Sheree in Africa that she won't get married again. And the only reason why Candy did this was because Sheree wasted a bunch of time pulling together anything negative that she could find online about Candy's restaurant and also her tag boutique and distributed a six page news article to everyone at the Real Housewives of Atlanta reunion. Well, ever since she did that, she came online boasting and touting, asking people to subscribe, saying it was fresh off the press. And anytime she posted about it, people drug her up and down her comment section like it was nobody's business. So I tell you, the comments just went on and on and on. If I was Sheree, I would have just turned them off. But somebody said, and you thought you had did something. Right after the reunion, you were on your platform, cheesing like a Cheshire cat. The reunion had been filmed a while ago and because Candy had not clapped back, you thought it was funny and cute. Candy is smarter than you and it shows. She slapped you with an open hand with that skit. Whoever told you to print that newsletter is not your friend. Now someone even brought up Martel Holt, who Sheree pulled in to have a storyline this past season. But that so-called relationship friendship didn't pan out too well because he was out and about with Belinda, Tiffany, Megan, Cindy, and his son's mother, Arianne Curry. And the comment noted, she met Martel hanging out with his baby mom at the gym. We tried to warn you, but your arrogance and ego will have you out here looking like a fool. And of course, as always, Arion went live when she was with Martel so that she could show us that she was with him, even though we couldn't see his face. We heard his voice. We know exactly what Martel sounds like. Let me see you. Show me how you look So let me see. Let me see you. I'm, I'm, let me just see you. Now, Sheree is a beautiful woman, and I just don't understand how or why she continues to pick such knuckleheads. But despite the medicine man telling her that she won't get married again, Sheree did a recent interview with Chanel in the city. And not only did she say she would get married again, but she also talked about what she wanted in a man. Well, let's change uh, little topics. We're going to your relationship. Now, you have a relationship, right? I with, do. Uh, I have a relationship. You have a relationship. Are you in a relationship? Oh, I have a friendship. <laughs> what? I've never said anything differently. It's it's. No, I know. I just because we're so and quick as women to be like, "That's my boyfriend. That's my boyfriend." And then you're like, "No, no, no." So yeah, talk. Why don't you clarify? Let's hear from the source yourself. So talk to us about your friendship uh, with the man that you we feature. You know, who's been on the show with you. Um, talk to us about that. Uh, he's, you know, we're good friends. We're, we're friends. Um, we enjoy being around each other, but I, people, I think people get confused with dating or yeah. when you're in a committed, committed relationship. I've never said we were in a committed relationship. I've always said we're dating. I'm having fun. I'm enjoying life. That's always been my stance. And that is still my stance. And I think people, the word dating, I think they have a, an issue with really knowing what that means. Yes. I am leaving. I'm keeping my options open. I am seeing, you know, I'm spending time, you know, with whoever I want to spend time with. Right. And once I figure out that this is the perfect guy for me, the right guy for me, then I will settle down. But until then, I'm having, I'm enjoying life. What is like, like, what does make you want to commit? I guess, what would, what would it have to take for a man to say, you know, we're not just dating, we're exclusive or in general, how, how should we process this as women? So we're not like coming off desperate and like thinking the guy is our husband after, <laughs> after week, week one. <laughs> we're literally, we're planning the marriage because I like the way you're going about it. Yeah, sometimes you have to say, you know, we're friends or we're dating or it's not serious. So talk to us about like what we need to do um, or what, what will it take for you to commit? What will it take for someone like you to commit? 
for me to commit for first of all we're, we're talking about me but in general i think that we all need to work on ourselves mm. and be happy or you can't be there uh, a thousand percent for someone else if you're not happy within yourself so complete yourself first because no one can come in and complete you but i think with a mate i think someone who kind of checks all my box boxes i think that um i am definitely open to marriage because I actually enjoy, you know, being in a committed relationship and being married. And I will get married again, you know, when I find, you know, that person for me. And I don't know if I found that person yet. I don't think I found that person yet, but I do know he's out there. What is, I love that. I love that answer that you're so sure of yourself. And I really hope also that I pray, yeah, that you get the man you want to be with. You deserve an amazing man, just as equal as you what do you, what is your boxes? Like, what are some of the, bo and what are some of the boxes like we should check? You know, sometimes we don't have standards for ourselves. You know, we need to start having them. Oh no, I know. Yeah, exactly. That, yeah. That's the issue. That is a problem. I think that is a problem with dating now and dating, you know, back in the day, it was, it's so different because the women today do not have standards. They're allowing the men to pretty much do and get away with anything. Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah. But back in the day, it's like, no, you had to work. You got to work for this. You can't just expect it and think, but today the girls are giving them and themselves, themselves, their girlfriends and everybody else uh, they're yeah. giving too much for way too little. So for me, some of the things that check my boxes, uh, you know, one, first of all, you have to be, you know, God fearing, uh, fam I'm very, very big on family. So you have to be uh, family oriented. I need you to be, uh, to make me laugh. I need you to be, you don't have to be, I need, to ha need you to have your shit together and be able to do, not that you have to be wealthy, but I would like, I like nice things. I like to travel. I need you to be able to flow with that. I need you to be, I want you to be healthy. I want you to be fit. I want you to be a great communicator because I do know that that's a, a huge deal. You know, that's a lot of divorces. That's why a lot of people get divorced because of communication. I want you to be communicate, uh, be a great communicator. I need you to be honest. I want to be able to talk about anything with you. I want you to be me, me to be able to trust you. Mm -mm. Uh -oh, I'm sorry, I got an electrician on this way. Yes, um, and just. Uh, I mean, my list isn't, and you know what, when I, when I think about my list, it don't seem like it's that long or that bad. I was going to say, it's I know it's like basic, thing. it's, it's basic like basic thing. human decency. <laughs> it's hard to find. It's hard to find. No, I'm glad you're saying that because it's so hard. Like, but maybe we should be writing lists like you, like maybe yeah. we need to do that to manifest. Wait a minute. I, if this guy's not for me, I don't got to fight him. I just need to know to walk away to find it in somebody else. Yeah. Right. Because they'll would, show you who they are for sure. They'll show you who Sometimes we don't follow the signs because, you know, I'm, I am a hopeless romantic. Mm. And, you know, sometimes I ignore the signs just like everyone else. And also as women, I feel sometimes we want to be nurturing and we want to be super supportive. I mean, was yeah. it weird when you were dating him that he was on a show as well? Like for the power dynamics, is that weird for you or? That was the first time. And no, it wasn't weird. It wasn't weird for me. It wasn't weird for you. So sometimes, well, because sometimes I say, sometimes you have to be with someone also that gets where you're coming from and gets that you do reality TV and that it's a business and it's a show, you know, and, and all yeah, that. Yeah, that was, that was actually the plus with him because he actually did get it. He does mm -hmm. get it. You know, he gets, um, and I always, ugh, yeah, he actually, he actually got it. Now, Sheree didn't want to put her foot in her mouth, so she stopped right there. As you see, she hesitated because she really knew this relationship was not real. It was all just for the storyline. But what got me was that Chanel was asking Sheree for dating advice. Would you take dating advice from Sheree Whitfield? Sound off in the comments below. Let me know what you thought about this whole video. And I do have to say that despite what the medicine man said in Africa, I'm glad that Sheree is still hoping and believing that marriage will be something that will happen for her one day. But sound off below. Let me know your thoughts about everything we talked about. And as always, I'll talk to you all in the next video. 
please be sure to give this one a thumbs up and make sure you hit the notification bell so you never miss an update from what's happening.